Guitar land we are back in town and tonight I want to show you a very special guitar made by a very traditional German brand from Franconia and the brand is named Höfner in German and Hofner International so Hofner was very popular before uh, Fender and Gibson came across the pond and they are most famous for the Beatles bass that Paul McCartney plays until today. So but back to this guitar I'm always in search to find something else than Gibson and Fender yeah, but still I always come back to Gibson and Fender mainly to Fender but in this case you know uh, there was an interview in German guitar magazine with me called Grand Guitars. They, they have mainly very expensive guitars in it. And directly the next page there was a story about this guitar here. And this guitar is called the Hofner, Höfner, very thin. And the name is the program. So this guitar is just a three centimeters so 30 millimeters and it's thinner than my Strat and it's way thinner than a Gibson ES335. I think Hofner knew the Gibson 335 so because this guitar came out in 1960. It's a similar concept with a center block and Back then, when, when uh, musicians in, uh, in Europe couldn't afford Fender and Gibson or Fender and Gibson were not on the market in, in Germany and also not in uh, England. So uh, lots of people played Hofner guitars. So George Harrison played one in the beginning. So uh, And also Mark Knopfler's first guitar was a Hofner kind of Strat thing. And in this article, so they, they showed this uh, Hofner very thin and, and it came out 1960 and it was very popular as well with German beat musicians and also with the English beat musicians. So that's that's comes out of the beat era. So but then I saw and that was I think back in 2015 or 16. So I, I saw that Hofner put out a modernized version of this very thin guitar and I, of course I like these rally stripes a lot I like the, the the metallic blue lacquer on this thing very much and even usually I play very thick necks and this is a quite slim neck but it plays absolutely fantastic and also it came with a Bixby yeah? and as you heard in the introduction so it's it, it I, I love it in clean as well <laughs> Distortion. 
So th these guitars costed about 900 or 1000 euros. So when they were on the market, there were different colors available, as far as I remember, white, greenish, reddish, and it's absolutely worth the price. They are Chinese made, so there are also German very thins available that have a more traditional kind of look. Um, very famous guitar player from, from here, uh, Daniel Stelder. His main guitar was a Höfner very thin for a longer time. And I always use it uh, on live gigs for especially for my rock tune so i like the distorted sound a lot and it looks fabulous so if you're interested now so uh, google hofner guitars check it out so it's absolutely worth it so see you again soon in guitar land when we're back in town bye <laughs>